Good morning and welcome back. This is the second edition of OET tailor made to suit your requirement. The last video I gave a brief introduction, a uh, very brief introduction about OET. What is it? What are the subdivision, uh, subtests, and uh, how the mark division? If you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask me. Today, uh, our, I propose to talk on the type of letters, that is, on the writing module. Now, writing module, as I told you, is the third one, L R W, third one. So here, uh, before we uh, go tell uh, what is the uh, writing you get, it is a uh, writing a letter based on a case notes. So you should know what are the different type of letters they are going to ask. The most common one is called a, a referral letter. This is the referral letter, first type of referral. What is a referral letter? Now, you may be a doctor or a dentist or a nurse or um, a physiotherapist or a dietitian or a vet, whatever it is, uh, some patients are with you. They come to you and you ask, what can I do for you? And you gather a lot of information and based on the information you come to a conclusion and then you make an examination and then you do some tests, etc. and you make an assessment. When you make an assessment, you see the patient may have a, a problem that is not in your area of operating. You might, so you may have a suspected case, a suspected case of, a, say for example, a MI, myocardial infraction, or maybe gingivitis for the, for the, for the dentist, dentistry, gingivitis, maybe a case of gingivitis, or some problems are there which needs a specialist. So, you write a letter, you refer this patient, send this patient to a specialist. And that is called a, for preferred a, a, and a specialist, that is called a referral letter. So, what is a referral letter? You are sending your patient to a specialist for some, maybe for a definitive diagnosis or maybe uh, further management or for both definitive diagnosis and uh, further management. So that is a referral letter. Now, the very important thing, after the diagnosis, uh, that is definitive diagnosis or after the further management or after the definitive diagnosis and further management, the patient will come back to you. That is what is called a referral letter. That you send the patient for some purpose and then after doing that, the patient will come to you. And for uh, a specialist, the first one, now, how are you going to organization? That is important. Organization, first to give the introduction. Introduction, you have to give uh, the name of the patient, then uh, uh, patient specification. Then uh, you give purpose. For example, Mr. Roberts. Uh, you can write a comma, uh, a 52-year-old uh, retired school teacher. Then uh, you have to comma, then you, who requires. Then you say, what do you, definitive diagnosis, or you can say further management, or definitive diagnosis and further management, or whatever it is, your purpose, and then uh, that is, uh, uh, so how, then you, that is called the introduction. So you say, uh, name of the patient, then you give the purpose, then you give what is a presenting condition or the problem, diagnosis, whatever is relevant. That is, that will make an introduction. This is very, very important. You are going to write only three points. Uh, so, introduction. Next is body point one. It is always desirable when you are writing to a specialist. It is always desirable that you start your BP1, body paragraph 1, something like this. Uh, initially, comma, on that date, comma, uh, Mrs. Smith presented the clinic. Presented. The word is presented means coming for the first time. Please be very careful. Don't say visited. Arrived. 
they these are not a, for example visit they your clinic is not a um, exhibition center to visit so you have to use this is called the genre and style this word presented so patient presented presented means come for the first time come for the first time uh, to the uh, to the clinic with a complaint of if there is only one complaint for example the family this uh, mrs smith had a stomach ache with a complaint of stomach ache or more the multiple complaints then you have to say with the, the complaints of so be careful about it they don't make any mistake in the purpose purpose you have a three mark so this introduction is a introduction and body paragraph so don't make any mistakes there initially that is a specialist case initially comma then that date comma mrs smith uh, presented that mean came for the first day to the clinic with a complaint presented uh, uh, smith uh, presented not was presented uh, presented presented to the clinic with a complaint of if there is only one complaint with the complaints of means more than or multiple complaint and complaints of what you have to write it that is bp1 so intro bp1 then bp2 bp3 bp4 whatever not more than four so that is a body paragraph 1 2 3 then you can write the relevant history if it is relevant relevant history now uh, we uh, um, uh, we have for the doctors we are giving 10 sample letters here so you will know what is that so relevant history if it is relevant uh, uh, and then you write the conclusion for for example you can view of the above uh, uh, mrs smith is being referred to you then should you have this is very important one should you have any queries uh, queries spelling only one hour should you have any queries do not hesitate to contact me then you sign off doctor so you are sincerely doctor then you are easy to you are sincerely depending on if uh, you are writing the name of the doctor it should be you are sincerely if you are writing to a designation for example director or to the endocrinologist or to the uh, cardiologist the name is not given you write yours faithfully a doctor for example or you can write the dentition if you are a dentist so this is the organization preferred organization mind you there is not one way of writing if 10 students are writing 10 letters it will be 10 different one this is what bmax prefers and this is what uh, oet has accepted that is of course i am not inventing bmax is not inventing we are abiding by the uh, instructions given by official oet site and that is what they say when you are writing a specialist give an introduction purpose that purpose functioning then body paragraph 1 initially presented then you write a complaints and what the complaints and give the rationale for that bp2 continuous continue uh, that is called a signal word you have to use that will be the next video next video that is tomorrow we are going to how to connect this introduction It is not an island this must be connected to body paragraph 1 introduction will lead to body paragraph 1 body paragraph 1 to 2 2 to 3 and then relevant history relevant history to conclusion so you get to the whole letter is a monolithic structure it is going to be one structure that is uh, the first type referral letter referral letter are two type one is called uh, a referral to a specialist what is the second one yes sir the second one is referral but it is called urgent referral a and e accident and emergency preferred organization here is also the same thing uh, for example it can be in, uh, anywhere an uh, urgent uh, uh, referral there you have to write the same thing introduction you write uh, the name of the patient patient profile then you give the purpose and then you have to say what is the reason there you have to say it is an urgent who requests urgent that word uh, urgent you have to use in the purpose that is introduction then uh, there your bp1 unlike uh, the other uh, uh, previous one previous one ah here bp1 initially on that day presented whereas when you go to the next one 
an urgent letter it is uh, today what happened today this is the difference so if it is an urgent letter you uh, your bp1 must be today what happened today then after writing all those things you can see bp2 initially 2 3 4 paragraph then you come to uh, relevant history conclusion and then you conclude it saying should you have any queries here also spelling of queries is not correct and uh, uh, sign off doctors then sign off can be your sincerely if then you are writing the name of the doctor there and if you are uh, only a designation like uh, endocrinologist or pathologist or then uh, it can be or you are writing to some so it is can be faithfully if you are writing to a designation and uh, sincerely if you are writing to the name it is a uh, so referral letters are two type one is a referral to a specialist second is urgent referral then transfer letter this is mainly for doctors medicine and maybe for uh, uh, nurses N- nursing nursing and uh, medicine then this don't have a transfer because there there are no there is no rare cases of admission then uh, other branches also physiotherapy also there is no admission then uh, pharmacy there is no admission so this a uh, transfer letter so you can say all branches whether you are a, a doctor medical doctor or a dentist or a nurse or a radiologist or what a pathologist up to the vet you have to write only referral letter but for doctors that is medicine and for uh, nursing there is a transfer letter there are there are two type of transfer transfer back to the gp what is a gp unlike in india uh, say for example i am in kollam if something happens to me i will go uh, i can go in india i can go to anywhere for example i'll go to tivander where i have a friend doctor but it in a european country it's not like that in that locality there is a doctor and you have to meet him only him that is called a, a gp and uh, so your uh, patient uh, was uh, uh, you have a patient and the patient is in your custody and uh, the treatment is over the management is over he is recovering recovered then you can send him back to your gp that is uh, i told you in the beginning i told you refer uh, to a specialist and when the requirement is over the specialist will send the patient back to and that sending is called a transfer so here organization will be something like you write the introduction you write the just same thing name of the patient then requires and there you have to say transfer in that paragraph introduction paragraph you have to say transfer why recovering from so that is uh, you have to remember the patient has uh, not completely cured now he is uh, recovering then of course he might need the uh, medications for the maybe four or five more days which he can do by himself so that is where they will have a transfer plan and will be sent so here um, transfer back to gp preferred organization body paragraph 1 preferably a relevant history so that is what uh, uh, how it is different uh, from a referral letter referral letter uh, uh, we write the history as a last para of the body but here it is better transfer you give the introduction body paragraph 1 you give the relevant history a relevant history and bp 2 during hospitalization and then uh, body paragraph 3 4 because uh, here uh, the gp knows all the other things a gp knows everything about the history only relevant history and the remaining part of the gp knows therefore you uh, and the gp is interested in what is uh, during hospitalization is what uh, uh, the gp is interested in because he knows other before and uh, after, uh, now the patient is with him before what happened he knows therefore bp2 will be during hospitalization the first one is uh, introduction uh, bp relevant history then bp uh, during bp2 during uh, then uh, whatever is required uh, during hospitalization 3 4 and conclusion being transferred to you
be transferred. That will be the conclusion. And should you have any queries here also, queries, spelling mistake, uh, hesitate to contact me, sign off. Sign off, you can say you are sincerely or you are faithfully with a uh, doctor or dentist or pharmacist or whatever it is. But uh, it is mainly transfer letter is only for uh, doctors and for nurses mainly. And the second type of transfer is uh, transfer to speciality. That is the second type of transfer. So for example, you had a patient, uh, he came with uh, some problems and uh, you, uh, he was in the ward. And the previous night he had uh, um, some signs and symptoms suggestive of a myocardial infraction or some problems happening. Then immediately you transfer this patient to some speciality. You refer this patient to uh, transfer the patient to other ward, for example cardiac ward. So that is called transfer to speciality. Here introduction, introduction with a, uh, there you have to say uh, uh, that is, uh, is being transferred. Why? Then you have to give purpose and what is the presenting condition. Then paragraph, you have to fabric relevant history. Here also relevant history. So transfer letter, unlike a, a referral letter, your uh, um, history will be the last part. But in transfer letter, it is going to be BP1. Uh, uh, of course, you can write at the end also. There is no hard and fast rules here. But uh, uh, BMAX is a uh, big institution with uh, several branches. And uh, every day, uh, maybe 11 o'clock or sometimes 3 o'clock, all the branch students will meet, uh, specialists will meet, nurses will meet at one time. And one trainer, excellent uh, 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 senior trainer, will give a common talk to all the students wherever the whole world so, uh, if we are following different uh, um, organization, that will create, for example, I give one organization, he gives another, and he gives another, she gives another one. Then they will create confusion. So, we are codifying it. That is the reason why we are giving the preferred uh, organization for transfer. It will be introduction, then relevant history, BP 2, 3, 4, and conclusion, sign off. So, that is transfer letter, the type 2. The next one is discharge letter. What is the difference between transfer and discharge? Discharge means completely cured. Here in transfer, ah, a transfer it is uh, relieved, uh, is uh, recovering from. That's the difference. In a uh, transfer letter, the patient is recovering from. And further uh, medication is needed, care is needed, which will be, uh, he can do it himself or with the help of somebody. But here, discharge letter is recovered. That is what is recovering from, and here it is recovered. And preferred organization, here introduction, here also relevant history. So in discharge letter and transfer letter, it is better that you give a paragraph uh, one, relevant history, relevant history, BP2, etc. And that is it, the discharge letter. These are the three, uh, three that is, uh, you usually all the branches will get a referral letter. Uh, doctors and uh, uh, doctors and uh, nurses will get a uh, discharge letter or transfer letter. And there is a fourth one that is informational letter. Uh, this is a very rare one, but you should not ignore it. For example, uh, July up to July, you had 14 tests from January to July. 14 tests were there. In that 14 days, for doctors, there was, was one information letter, nurses two. What is information? Information, you are writing uh, maybe to a school, doctors are writing to the school, or nurses are writing to the, um, uh, to the parents, or pharmacists are writing some kind of an information letter that should not, that is very rarely asked, but it is asked. Last year for the doctors, there was one question on information. Uh, and uh, uh, nurses too. Therefore, you should, uh, uh, we will give you samples of this questions, uh, case note. You write and we will give samples, then you will come to know their preferred organization, introduction, relevant history, then BP2, same thing, and conclusion. These are the uh, three type of letters, that is referral, discharge, 
uh, transfer and information. These are the four type of letters. And here what I meant is only a preferred organization which is going to create a lot of confusion for the students. So that is all. And now um, see that you, um, you can uh, share it with your friends, this information. And if you have any questions, uh, make comments on that. And uh, we'll be back with you for the next video on signal words. Now we have already seen an introduction. Then uh, what the type of letters, the most important one, what is, uh, I told you, a monolithic structure, how it can be observed, that will be in the next one. In the meantime, thank you, BMAX Academy, those who have, uh, uh, you can send it to your friends and those who are willing to take the test on uh, the last uh, date of uh, August or um, September, uh, enroll yourself. If there are any friends, uh, welcome, you send them uh, to BMAX Academy. Thank you. May God bless you. Namaste.